Splatoon 3 Fresh Season 2024 has released a new dually weapon known as the Dowser Duelies. There's been a lot of mixed opinions about this weapon. Some people really enjoy it, some people downright hate it, and some people are just somewhat unsure. However, in this video today, I am going to give you guys my opinion on the Dowser Duelies. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure to like or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and maybe leave a comment of what you guys think in the Dowser Duelies. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and show off what the Dowser Duelies do. So as you can see in my hand, we have the Dowser Duelies, and the first thing you're probably going to notice, especially when you pick up this weapon, is once you shoot at this weapon, you're going to notice the huge amount of range this weapon has. Now, just to give you guys a comparison of how far uh, this weapon actually shoots, if I was to pick a weapon much like the Jet Squelcher, it's roughly around that range. So you can see this is the Jet Squelcher shooting, and the painting range is somewhat close to the, where the Dowser Duelies is also shooting. If we compare how far this weapon shoots to something like the Squeezer as well, that's the Squeezer shooting. I'm going to get the Dowser Duelies again right here. As you can see, the Dowsers shoot just slightly further, ever so slightly further than the Squeezer. This is the Squeezer's furthest painting range, and this is the Dowser Duelies. So as you can see, the Dowser Duelies shoots just ever so slightly further than the Squeezer, and the Jet Squelcher shoots a little bit further than the Dowser Duelies. So it's just like in the in-between between Jet Squelcher and Squeezer, which is really, really interesting. Now, that's not the only interesting thing about the Dowser Duelies as well. As you can see, if you shoot regularly, this is how far you shoot. However, if you were to do a dodge roll with the Duelies, this is how far you shoot. It's very different if you were to shoot normally when you're using the Dowser Duelies. As you can see, the turret mode range is actually shorter than just regular shooting. Now, what can we compare this to? So, if we were to do a dodge roll with the Dowser Duelies, just like this, as you can see, the Dowser Duelies shoots this far. But if we were to get something like the Gluga Duelies, let's just use the new one since it's new. If we were to do a dodge roll comparison, just side by side, just to see, this is how far the Gluga Duelies is shooting. Now in a side by side comparison, this is how far the Gluga Duelies is shooting slash painting compared to the Dowser Duelies, which is right here. Now just in case some of you guys are curious to see if the Dowsers has more range or the Glugas has more range in terms of not painting range, but just actual range if you know what I mean. So if I was to do a dodge roll right here with the Gluga Duelies, as you can see just behind this particular line, if I do a dodge roll right there, I can do direct damage with the Gluga Duelies right here. If I was to switch over to the Dowser Duelies, however, uh, I might have to move back. If I move right here, the Dowsers can hit the target, but it actually starts becoming fall off damage at that point. And at the same time, you can clearly see that the fall off bullets are actually falling into the target instead of directly hitting like the Glugas was doing too. So the Dowsers Duelies don't have the longest firing turret mode. It's just behind the Gluga Duelies, but it's still pretty far and still really useful. Now talking about more statistical things with the Dowser Duelies, as you can see, if you hit things directly, it's actually doing 25.5 damage. So it's a four shot kill, and this actually remains true uh, with even with its turret mode as well. It's 25.5 all around. Things to notice as well, when you're using the Dowser Duelies at long range, you will notice that the fire rate is not so quick. I think this fire rate is like roughly close to around where the, uh, I guess the Jet Squelcher is. Although I wouldn't say it's as accurate as a Jet Squelcher, because if you see with the Jet Squelcher, just if I was to get it out right now, arguably I'd say the Jet Squelcher is probably a little bit quicker than the Dowser Duelies, but it's somewhat close. But at the same time, I'd say the Dowser Duelies doesn't do, I guess, the same thing as a Jet Squelcher would do uh, at long range just as good. Mainly because the Dowser Duelies, of course, is two weapons at hand. Like, you have two weapons in your hand. So, one of the weapons is shooting one bullet, and then the other weapon is shooting another bullet. And it basically recurs from one bullet to another. I mean, this is basic Duelie stuff, obviously. But just because of this, when you're actually fighting a target at a longer range, you might notice that it's not going to be super, super consistent especially when you're going to like a moving target like i feel like you'll hit shots every now and then but you might notice that you might not fully complete uh taking out targets with its long range mode but this is where the dodge roll comes in because when you do this the fire rate goes completely ham it completely doubles i don't even know how fast it actually goes but as you can see the dowsers really do Dows. So it's just another extra thing to notice. But one more thing I think that makes the Dowser Duelies really, really special is that it has the longest dodge roll out of all Duelies ever in Splatoon in the series. 
you had the Tetra Duelies that can do four rolls. You've had uh, the Daffle Duelies that can do two quick rolls. And of course, you have the standard uh, regular Duelies that do the regular rolls and the Duelie Scorcher that do the slidey rolls. But this particular Duelie has a very long roll. If I was to do some shooting right here, if I do a dodge roll right here, this is basically where I'm landing. If I was to get another Duelie, uh, let's just say the regular Duelies, uh, I think that would be actually a really good example if I can find it right here. Where are my weapons? All right, the Empire Duelies. This is a good comparison. So I'm shooting right here, do a roll, and all I land is to this line here. So basically with the Delta Duelies, you're rolling like half more compared to just a regular Dually roll. So those are basically the features and the comparison to the Delta Duelies. Now, how does the Delta Duelies actually work when it comes to just playing Splatoon 3 in general? So in my honest opinion, the Dowser Duelies is a very versatile weapon, but does things a little bit differently. So if we were to talk a little bit about the long range firing mode that it has, like I said before, the Dowser Duelies long range mode is most likely not going to be able to finish off targets very, very quickly at afar. It's like a Rapid Blaster or Rapid Blaster Pro that does a partial hit from very long range just to get good chip damage in from afar. This is what I feel like we are going to be mostly doing with these duelies if you are at a far range. However, I think the benefit of this weapon in comparison to using a rapid blaster or anything like that is that when you are shooting at a target from a far range right there, you're kind of establishing some sort of spacing. And if you have good accuracy to, of course, maintain uh, your crosshair or reticle around a target that is within your painting range, then it's going to be really good at just keeping your targets away because obviously if a target on the other side is being dealt with with your Dowser Duelies because you're shooting them from afar and getting ink around them which is just somewhat annoying and of course extra damage which they're not going to be wanting to take. I think that's one of the strong suits of its long range firing mode and if people are utilizing it like that then that can be also very helpful especially if your teammates actually take notice of that because of course if you see your Dowsers just basically firing away, keeping somebody away uh, on the enemy team. If you have a shorter range weapon that can actually like go in and have a better chance at actually trying to fight targets at close range, the Dowsers are going to be very supportive in that way and really help those splatter shots or splash schematics or 52 gals just get one or two shots. If it's a 52, it's basically going to be one shot at that point. But you know, I feel like the Dowsers are going to be very helpful to actually weaken that target when your assisting weapons are actually able to capitalize on it. Now, talking about the shorter range mode, I think the short range mode is also very, very helpful because it doesn't leave the Dowser Dullies as a sitting duck not being able to fend for itself. It can actually take on things when it comes to close range. Say if you've got a target ego pushing you, what you could do is basically dodge roll backwards. And of course, with the long dodge roll, you're going to be able to have so much leeway to be able to take on that target that's trying to challenge you up close. And also just to get yourself in a safer space and basically just space that target out even more to deny them from wanting to actually push. I think that's one really good defensive tool with the Dowser Duelies, but if you're wanting to use it offensively, you can, but the thing is, compared to other Duelies, I feel like if you are going to do this, you're going to need to really commit to that role and make sure that you can actually take on that target. Why I'm saying it like this is because the Dowser Duelies only has one role, and the end leg when it comes to doing another role after that is not quick at all. It's like when you're using your final role after using the Tetra Duelies. You are basically left very vulnerable. So if you are wanting to challenge something up close or try to press something with your Dowsers, you really need to commit to it. And you really need to assure that you are going to get that kill. And you need to assure that if you're rolling into that situation, that nothing else can potentially challenge you to basically take you out while after you're in your end lag phase. It's not like a regular dually that can roll in and also roll out if things get too crazy. With the Dowsers, you only have that one roll and you gotta really make account but at least you have very very long range to work with when you are in your turret mode which i think is also a very nice thing about this weapon so use it wisely so where does this weapon play so like i said this weapon has very very long range firing and i think that you're most likely going to be using this weapon more within the back lines to mid lines most of the time because i feel like you can utilize that particular part about this weapon the most out of anything 
on top of that, we got to notice how the weapon paints, which is also why I feel like uh, this weapon probably paints better in the back. Like, as you can see, most of its good paint is where the bullet actually lands. As you can see from the, I guess, the middle section of it. It's very spotty in the middle, as you can see here, but the paint where the bullet actually drops, this is the paint where you're going to be wanting to use. So you're going to be wanting to try get the most out of the weapon's range as most as possible, because this is the amount of paint that you want to be shooting around your targets just to mess them up even more. So like I said, this weapon's going to play a little bit more backline than up front, which pretty much makes sense, especially when you're looking at its kit. It has Ink Mine and Killer Whale. Uh, Ink Mine is just a great tool just to be able to watch flanks and just to help support. It's great for keeping ink at front. And of course, the Killer Whale. I think the Killer Whale, when it's put on a weapon that is playing within the back a whole lot more, is very, very useful, especially when one of your teammates is also trying to fight a target and, you know, you're just at the back, but you can't exactly reach them with your weapon. But instead, you use your Killer Whale just to shoot them from afar because you can because of course it's killer whale it shoots through walls and of course it has infinite range so it's just a really really nice tool to be able to use that so yeah this weapon's going to play in the back it's not going to be the kind of weapon to like i'd say uh initiate or anything like that it's definitely very very supportive very very midline-ish and i feel like that's how the weapon's going to play it does have a lot of weaknesses i'd say of course like i said the end leg and uh if any longer range weapons like a sniper elita any charger even heavy splatling like when going against those kinds of weapons this weapon may struggle quite a bit because it is a bit of a sitting duck compared to them. But if you can get yourself in positions where you're not having to go against those particular targets, and if you have use your killer whale in good points of where your teammates can actually capitalize off your killer whale to actually take on those targets, then that's going to keep you alive as a Dowser Dooley. But all in all, what do I think of the Dowser Dooleys? I think it's a very cool weapon. It's a very versatile weapon. Uh, in comparison to, I guess, all the other duelies that we have currently right now, I really love the long roll that it has because it allows me just to kind of go in there sometimes, like occasionally. Like, of course, I'm sitting in the back and uh, playing with its range and all that type of stuff and, you know, helping my, t my teammates when necessary and all that type of stuff. And I get sometimes a couple of kills just off the long range mode as well. In general, I think it's just a very fun weapon to give a go. So uh, there are a couple of, like, perks I feel really work well with this weapon like some might think it's odd but I think run speed actually works well, well with this weapon pretty well especially when it comes to strafing because the strafing becomes a lot quicker so if you do invest into run speed I think that would be a really good idea another perk I think is also really good is quick respawn it's mainly because I feel like this weapon is more prone to fighting and getting closer to targets compared to most backline weapons so you're probably going to die more with this weapon so having some quick respawn because you're probably not going to get so many kills with it can be pretty beneficial just so you can actually get yourself back into uh just annoying enemies and just like painting around them and just pushing them back and all that type of stuff so i think that's very very helpful and i'm also just going to put it on the list because i feel like this weapon would actually be a decent contender for using thermal ink uh mainly because of course like i said this long range firing mode is not going to kill enemies all the time so even just getting one shot is going to enable thermal ink so if you are playing on maps that have a lot of walls i think thermal ink can actually be pretty beneficial uh just like other weapons like how tri-stringer can benefit off it or uh, squeezer can benefit off it or as well a lot of people like to say blah 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 does as well so you know i think in terms of like some recommendations of what you might want to run i think those are pretty good with me at this point in time i'm still just like using like double swim speed and quicker spawn uh because i think that helps me the most i mean it's just kind of how my play style is and i just really like to be able to swim fast get out of situations fast and also engage in situations very quickly too with swim speed so that's just kind of me but you know everyone is each their own and everyone should try out different things and uh um, you know, that's basically my opinions of how what I think of the Dazzle Julies and what I, I think they're good for. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think the Dowser Duelies are good for. If you think they are a pretty good weapon, do you think they can be competitively viable? And if you just enjoy it just in general, because I think this weapon is very, very fun if you really get used to it. Like, I feel like the first time you use it, it's gonna feel a little weird, especially if you use Duelies before. But, you know, I feel like over time you do get used to it and then you start enjoying the play style that it does have so yeah let me know in the comment section below and all that type of stuff like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already this video was kind of like a whole blown guide to the dowser duelies because i don't know information all that type of stuff but 
I appreciate it all. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the season so far. And I shall see you guys in a future video.